Hi there, it's Cindy from FrenchEasy.com. In this lesson, we're first going to revise how to conjugate verbs in the imperfect. We're then going to learn the conjugation of the verb faire in the imperfect. And finally, we're going to learn when we should be using the verb faire. If you're considering taking lessons with a native French teacher, have a look in the description for the offer italki is offering my viewers. Le verbe faire à l'imparfait. So first things first, how do we actually form the imperfect? To form the imperfect, you first need to work out what the stem is. To get the stem, you need to remove the ONS ending from the new form of the present tense of the verb. Once you've got the stem, you then add the appropriate imperfect tense ending. So to form the imperfect tense of a verb, you either add E, 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 YON, Ye or E to the stem, depending on who or what performed the action. Now let's conjugate the verb faire in the imperfect. Now remember that the new form of faire in the present tense is faisons. So if we remove the ONS ending, we get FAIS. So that will be our stem. We then add the imperfect tense endings and we get je. Faisait. Repeat. Je faisais. Which can mean either I was doing, I was making, I used to do, I used to make, or even I did, I made. Tu faisais. Repeat. Tu faisais. Il faisait. Il faisait. Elle faisait. Repeat. Elle faisait. On faisait. On faisait. Nous faisions. Again. Nous faisions. Vous faisiez. Repeat. Vous faisiez. Il Faisait. Il faisait. Elle faisait. Elle faisait. If you'd like to revise when to use the imperfect, click on the info card that will pop up at the top of your screen. So, a few things to note about the pronunciation of this verb. The first AI is pronounced like the French letter E. E. Feu. Zé. Feu. Zion. Feu. Zie and f z. This is very irregular because, as you know, a i is usually pronounced like e or e, but in this instance, it's pronounced like e. The second thing to remember is that the middle s is pronounced like a z because it is placed between two vowels, and finally, the final s and t are silent. So, when should you be using the verb faire? Faire usually means to do or to make, but you can only use it if what you mean is that you are doing something or making something. In other words, to use faire to mean to do or to make, it needs to be followed by a noun. For example, tu faisais les courses le lundi. You used to do the shopping on Mondays. Il faisait beaucoup de bruit. They were making a lot of noise. Of course, depending on the context, this could also translate to they used to make a lot of noise or they made a lot of noise. However, if to make is followed by an adjective rather than a noun, you cannot use faire. Instead, you need to use rendre. As in that case, nothing is actually being made. For example, il me rendait jaloux. He was making me jealous. Elle me rendait heureux. She was making me happy. You can also use faire when talking about musical instruments you play or sports you take part in. In that case, faire usually translates to to play, but it can also translate to to go, as in to go cycling, or to do, as in to do ballet. For example, il faisait de la guitare. He used to play the guitar. 
or he was playing guitar. Je faisais de l'équitation. I used to go horse riding or I was horse riding. And finally, faire is also often used to talk about the weather, particularly when talking about the temperature or whether the weather is nice or not so nice. For example, il ne faisait pas beau, the weather wasn't nice. Il faisait très froid en Islande, it was very cold in Iceland. This is the end of the lesson. If you'd like to get the written version of my lessons so you can practice on the go and monthly exercises to practice what we learn here, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash frencheasy. You'll also find other great rewards you may be interested in over there. And if you found this lesson useful, please give it a thumbs up and share it. If it's your first time on my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I upload new videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And remember, you can also find the links to my social media in the description. Thanks for watching. À la prochaine. Bye.